you band your leg back. G'day guys, welcome back to New Zealand. I've been back from the South Island for about a week now. And me and little Rosie here, we're getting itching. We've been itching for a bit of a road trip again. So we're out today. We've got a weekend off, Saturday, Sunday off. And we're going to set off and go down to the central plateau of New Zealand. Down to the mountains, the volcanoes. We're going to do a couple of walks around that sort of area. I've got my nephew here, young James. He's uh, due to leave the country after a two year stint. He's due to leave next month. So he wants to check it out around the volcanic plateau and look around. So uh, come with us guys, we'll, uh, we'll pick out a walk, we'll decide what we're going to do, and we'll go for it. Thank you later. Taranaki Falls, beautiful spot, sun's overhead, so the light's a bit harsh, I'm not going to bother taking a photograph, save that for later on the way back I reckon. We're going to push on to a place called Tama, Fal Tama Falls, Tama Lakes, T-A-M-A -A Lakes, and that is supposed to be absolutely beautiful. And this is the Tongariro, Tongariro National Park, and uh, I think we're going to get a nice sunset tonight. I think we're going to make a few nice photographs of the snow-capped mountains with the Tamil Lake in the foreground, if I've got it planned right. So by my reckoning, or our reckoning, we're about an hour, 20 minutes away from <laughs> Tamil Lakes. And it's dark Tama in a Lake, couple of hours. And it's dark in a couple of hours. So that means, without a shadow of a doubt, we've we'll got a dark walk back. Dark. Yeah, we've got a dark walk back. Uh, but, Three quarters, three quarters of a full moon. So I'm thinking we should get a little bit of uh, luminance on the path on the way back. Fingers We've got crossed. all these, all these orange markers as well marking the way, so we should be right. And James assures me he's got plenty of battery on his phone, so he's got a little torch on his phone. So I think we're all right. But we'll see. But we will see. So we're probably five minutes away from Tamil Lake's lower lake. That's about as far as we're going to go. James thinks he might sort of scoot up another 45 minutes to up the lake. I don't think I'm going to bother. I'm going to sit down and uh, get a few photographs. And I think we're going to lose the light before long anyway. So we've got a two and a half hour walk back from this point. We should take as well after sunset. So uh, I think we'll just potter about. Hope it burns you. Crack on. It's almost dark. Not long to go. How long do you reckon, Jim? Good hour. Walk. The sun might just be down by then. But who knows? I think, I, know. I think it's going to be dark, lad. I'm back on home turf. Uh, we did the walk yesterday. We went for Tama Lakes, which is sort of a six hour round trip. Quite an easy walk, really but I think we made hard work of it. We arrived there quite late, so we started the walk around about sort of 2.30, 3, 3 o'clock maybe? 3 o'clock-ish? And it's a six hour hike, effectively. Uh, and we kind of didn't even think about getting back, to be honest, until kind of halfway there. We got halfway there and then we thought, shit, actually, we've got another three hours to get back and it's gonna be dark in two hours. So we kind of got to where we were getting, James, did the heroic bit and uh, he scrambled up to the upper lake uh, I just didn't have time I didn't have the time or the energy to be honest I was knackered uh, so yeah James did that 
I stayed at the lower lake. Got a couple of photographs that I'll post in a second. A couple of photographs I'm quite happy with. Uh, but to be honest, I think the overriding theme of the day for me, I was quite knackered. I was quite jaded. I was quite. Uh, I was a bit flat actually. And I think after after last week or the last few weeks down in South Island, I think to come back here, I, I was just. I don't know. I was just left a little bit flat I mean the scenery down there it's just it's just beautiful I, I, I think it's just a case of uh, I just need a few more weeks to sort of acclimatize to life back in Hawke's Bay uh, but that'll happen it'll come